Minister Tansron, colleagues from the media. I'm very pleased today to welcome my very good friend, Minister Tansron, on his first official visit to Jakarta. Minister Tansron and I co-chair the fourth Indonesia-Vietnam Joint Commission for bilateral cooperation of we call it TCBZ to strengthen bilateral relation in many areas. And this morning, Minister Tanson has paid a courtesy call to the President of the Republic of Indonesia. Colleagues, Vietnam is Indonesia's strategic partner. To further solidify our partnership, we agreed to expedite finalization of plan of action for 2024-2028 as a guidance for our bilateral cooperation going forward. To this end, allow me to convey several points from the discussion of our GCBC. First, on trade cooperation. I'm very pleased to note that Indonesia and Vietnam have exceeded the bilateral trade target of 10 billion US dollars, valued at more than 11 billion US dollars in 2021. We discuss effort to explore new bilateral trade target of US dollar 15 billion by 2028. And in achieving such target, we discuss effort to simplify rules on market access for products, for, uh, particularly or including pharmaceutical and agricultural sector, to explore untapped potential of various commodities and products and to boost B2B links. Second, on investment cooperation. We discuss ways to promote more conducive investment climate for both countries. I'm pleased to note the large number of Indonesian investment in Vietnam and valued more than 600 million US dollars in 2021 in various sectors, such as property, cement industry, livestock feed, and spare part. And I saw Vietnam's support to ensure the well-being of the various Indonesian investment in Vietnam. Still on the economic cooperation, we extend views on the need to enhance connectivity cooperation to boost economic growth and people-to-people -people contact. Third, on maritime security. We welcome the implementation of the MOU between our respective Coast Guard through the Maritime Security Desktop exercise last June. On the EEZ delimitation, both countries are committed to intensify and expedite the negotiation process based on UNCLOS 1982. Fourth, on defense and security cooperation, we welcome the implementation of the Joint Vision Statement 2017-2022 by our respective ministries of defense, and we further encourage strengthening defense cooperation through renewal of the Joint Vision Statement and to explore cooperation on joint production and capacity building between respective defense industries. As part of our effort to address transnational organized crime in our two countries, we encourage respective authorities to expedite negotiation to finalize the MOU on combating illicit narcotic trafficking and MOU on counterterrorism. Fifth, on legal and consular matters. Colleagues, in ensuring better protection of our citizens abroad, we discussed the importance to establish the agreement on consular notification and encourage our technical team to follow up this matter. Colleagues from the media, on regional and international issues, I appreciate it. During the discussion, I appreciate it. Vietnam's support for the Indonesia's upcoming ASEAN chairmanship in 2023. I reiterated 
the importance of maintaining ASEAN relevance, both for its people and for the world. Amidst these challenging times, it becomes even more important for ASEAN to contribute to peace, stability, and prosperity in the region. On Myanmar, we agreed on the importance of the full implementation of the five point of consensus, as it will pave the way for national reconciliation, as well as bring back democracy in Myanmar. Lastly, Minister Tanson and I also agreed to hold the fifth TCBC, hopefully in 2024, hosted by Vietnam. And we agreed to bring the concrete deliverables for the next joint uh, the next GCBC meeting hosted by Vietnam. So that's all from me. And now I would like to invite Minister Tan Son to share his views. Son, Thank you. Please. Thank you, Thank you Madam Minister. Uh, first of all, uh, I would like to thank Madam Minister uh, Redno Masundi for the warm reception and also hospitality deserved for our delegation and me in particular in my first official visit to Indonesia and uh, co-chair the fourth meeting of the Joint Commission for our bilateral relations. Uh, Madam Redno Masuri and I had just had a very fruitful and very substantive discussion. I'm very glad that the fourth meeting of Vietnam Indonesia Joint Commission for Bilateral Cooperation has produced very positive outcomes. And many of that has been highlighted by Madam Minister. We have reviewed the cooperation between Vietnam and Indonesia over the past years and we agreed that the relationship has continued to flourish despite all the challenges posed by the COVID-19. Especially contacts and exchanges at a high level have been maintained. Bilateral trade turnover in 2021 amounted to 11.5 billion US dollars and increase of 40% against 2020 and surpassing the target 10 million US dollars as targeted by the two sides. Uh, in the action plan for the implementation of the strategic partnership for the period of 2019-2023, we agreed to further consolidate and deepen our strategic partnership by strengthening political tr trust, promoting bilateral cooperation mechanisms, keeping the momentum of trade and investment growth by different measures as highlighted by Madam Minister, both in trade and investments. And at the same time, advancing cooperation in other areas, including defense, security, agriculture, energy, tourism, and connectivity. Vietnam looks forward to working closely with Indonesia towards the post-pandemic recovery and sustainable economic development. Apart from bilateral cooperation, we also held in-depth discussion on regional and international issues of mutual interest, including the issue of Myanmar, and we especially Warmly congratulate Indonesia for having successfully fulfilled its G20 presidency so far and until the end of the year. And we'll extend our full support to Indonesia's ASEAN Championship in 2023. I also would like to take this opportunity to reaffirm our determination to further advance Vietnam Indonesia strategic partnership towards the celebration of 10th anniversary of strategic partnership between our two countries in 2023 and look forward to the meeting of JCBC in 2024 in Vietnam with substantive results.
and outcomes. Thank you, Madam Minister. Thank you, thank you very much, Mr. Son. Terima kasih, teman-teman. Sehat selalu. Thank you. Thank you.